Walmart. The same Walmart that I go to when I drop my coworker off. Went there, scanned a barcode in the Walmart app, and this TV was ringing up for $249. This is a 60-inch Ultra HD uh, 2160p 4K Smart, all the big trimmings that got, they got on the TVs now, right? So, it's ringing up 249. I'm like, hey, ho, what's, you know, what's up with the TV? So, the associate, she brings out the TV, and she's like, uh, there's a price discrepancy. And I was like, well, what's, you know, what's the, what's the deal? And she was like, well, the barcode says 249, but um, when you scan the actual TV box, it's saying it's 878. So, I was like, well, you know, customers, right? Y'all advertising this baby for 249 That's what I want to pay. She was like, uh, I know. She's like, let me get this manager. So she goes to get a little manager. Manager man comes out and he's like, you know, what's up? I'm telling him 249, 878. So he pulls out his phone in a Walmart app. He scans the barcode 249. Then he has somebody else use the like actual Walmart equipment to scan the thing 249. So maybe four or five people have come over and scanned this thing and it's reading 249. But when you scan the box, it's reading 878. I'm like, listen, I know Walmart's policy. It's say 249. This is what you're displaying it as. That's what y'all supposed to sell that TV for, right? That man told me I can't do it. And that was fine. But when he kept going, that's what made me mad. That's what set me off. He was like, well, um, I can't do it because it's too big a difference. And I was like, well, the, di the, the price difference is not something that Walmart will haggle you about. Either it's at the manager's discretion or it's like an actual glitch with the app or something in the system. But that couldn't have been the issue because it rang in my phone, his phone, and other people's thing. So I'm like, what's his real problem? Well, he then says... Well, if you want to buy what's in that box, then you're going to pay $878. Me? I was like, no, sir. Who when they get mine? I, that's jam. I was like, no, what you're going to do is you're going to give me it at the price that you're advertising it at, or I'm going to call corporate. So he was, I mean, he basically was like, call him. Okay, okay. So then he's walking away. He, he turns on around. And was like, uh, you know corporate don't open till 9 o'clock. Baby, when I say it must have been like 8.15, know that I was going to wait right there in that Walmart to call corporate so that I could speak to them and so I could put this man on the phone. I got a little tired of waiting. But he comes on back around to where I am. And he was like, uh, ma'am, the issue is is that I can't sell you what's in that box for $2.49 because the only thing ringing up $2.49 is the paper. And on the paper, that doesn't have a price. Now, the paper, it was just a barcode under the TV, which gave me the impression as a consumer that this is an item that's marked down or on clearances, which is why I scanned it to begin with. So, Because I'm thinking, you know, it's a big TV. It's marked down. Let me see what the price is. When it came back to 49 y'all should have wrote 249 on paper so people can know. But I guess they want people to know. Well, he was like, uh, what you can get for 249 is that piece of paper if you want it. Why you go there, Mike? Why you go there? That was his name, Mike. Why he tried to hide it when I asked what his name was? He literally put his hand over his badge. Okay, cool. I was like, I'm done waiting. I just got off work. I'm going to go home. Went on home. I'm my way home. I thought I would stop. There's maybe, there's probably four Walmarts within 10 to 15 miles of me. Maybe five if I count another. But there are that many Walmarts between the area in which I live so I went to another one and that Walmart didn't even have a price sticker up for this TV they had the TV actually sitting on display had it in boxes down on the shelves but they did not have a price on it every other TV that I looked at I recorded it on snapchat every other TV had a price tag but this TV these stores are less than seven to ten miles from each other in my mind, I just got so paranoid. I'm like, what if that store called this store because I left in a huff and I threatened to call corporate? What if they, you know, called this store <laughs> and told them not to uh, list the price or whatever? Well, I asked the associate at store number two uh, about the price on this TV, and he said it was $878. And then I was like, well, the other one is $249. I'm just wondering why there's a, such a huge difference. Because, you know, usually be like a $0.50, cents, $50 difference. You know, electronics would be $50 difference. But I'm like, that's a huge difference. 
And uh, his response was that it depends on the area and the demand for that item. And then he also mentioned that there was a new model coming in. So the uh, Walmart number one may have been getting rid of their old model to replace it with the new model. So I said, okay, well, that makes sense. And he's just like, we just haven't gotten our order for our new TVs yet. So our TVs are still at the base rate that they originally came in. Cool. So then I went to Walmart number three, which is even closer to my house. That Walmart is kind of, they kind of bougie. It, the TV wasn't there. And I walked in, looked real quick and walked on out. So um, I went to sleep from my shift and from Walmart. And my mother called me and said that she needed medicine. She wasn't feeling good. So between her house and my house is another Walmart, is a fourth Walmart. I went to this Walmart and baby, when I say this experience was pure magic, I'm talking Disney on ice magic. Wonder, Wonder Kingdom or whatever it is they got in Disney. It was lights, glitter, fireworks, action, all of it. Bam. Okay. I get up in there, <clears throat> grab my mom's medicine. I'm grabbing myself lunch. And I just, I mean, it's before I got to go to work. I probably had an hour. So I was like, well, let me just go to electronics and scan it. And we're going to see how this goes. I get there, scan it. 249 in the Walmart app. So I asked an associate if he if he doesn't mind scanning to see how much the TV is. And I'm gonna ask him just very casually, like, hey, would you mind telling me how much the TV is? He scanned it and he was like, Oh. He was like, hold on. So then he beeps it again with the Walmart equipment, boop, 249. He was like, let me get a manager to make sure, you know, nothing's off. So I'm I mean, I've been turned down for three times, three prior times. So I'm chilling. I was like, all right, whatever. Manager comes over. He's like, hey, man, what's up with you? Young man, super jovial, super nice. He was like, what's going on? I was like, uh, your TV's ringing 249. And the associate took the conversation on from there. He was like, she scanned it as 249. I scanned it twice as 249. So the manager, he pulls out his thing. Boop, 249. And this is when it gets funny. He was <laughs> he was like, um, well, yeah, man, we have the TV. We have the TV in stock. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, how many do you have? <laughs> He was like, one. And I was like, well, bring it on up. And he was like, I don't think you understand. And I was like, I understand. You got one? I want one. Let's do this. And he was like, it's the one up there on display. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I was like, do y'all take them down? Do I have to come back tomorrow? You know, how do we do this? And he was like, oh, no, we can take it down for you. And I was like, okay, you know, bring that baby down. <laughs> he goes, uh, you know, it's been running for almost a year and a half. And I was like, uh, well, yeah, it might have been. It's like people probably been touching on it and all this jazz. And I was like, yeah, they might have. And he was like, uh, you know you can get the warranty, but sometimes the warranty doesn't cover uh, failures from display items. And I was like, yeah, but, you know, I'll still get the warranty. And he was like, oh, shit. And I was like, what's the problem? And he's, you know, they're taking it down and walking me to the register. And he was like, you sure you want this TV? I mean, he just seemed like he really was like, I don't want you to make a bad purchase. So I was like, well, no. I felt like $249 was perfectly worth bringing this TV home. I was going to, it was in October when I got the TV, but I felt like it was a good Christmas gift. I mean, it's a big TV. What man doesn't want a huge TV? He brings it onto the register and he scans it and he was like, um, I have to give you a discount on it because it's a display model. And I was like, okay, you know, I wouldn't. I didn't care. I just wanted the TV at this point. And he was like, I have to give it to you for 50% off. Girl, 50% off? I was like, you gonna give me that TV for 50% off of $249? He was like, yeah. And I was like, that TV's $125? And he was like, yeah, I gotta give it to you for 50% off. And I'm like, you got to? And he was like, yeah. He was like, I really didn't want you to buy it because I wanted to buy it. So we're all laughing. And I'm like, well, how deep is your discount? He was like, well, it would have been 50% for the display on top of my Walmart discount, which was 10%. I was like, oh, so you would have got it for less than 100 bucks, you know, before taxes. And he's like, pretty much. Y'all, that just blew me away that he went above and beyond. I mean, took the TV down, got the guys to get the car to my, or get the TV to my car, and then offer me such a deep discount. When I talk to other stores or other people who've had similar expenses or experiences, they say they were offered like a 10 or 20% discount, but nothing that deep. So that was that. I put, they got the TV in the car, barely, like barely fit. So everything is dropped off and complete, right? So I'm still waiting on corporate to call me back. So it's been within the three days that they said they were going to call back. And they did. So I spoke with the guy named Mike. 
he said that he was really sorry that things happened like that down at the store level and that he had already contacted the store and the store manager will be calling me. So probably an hour later or so, the store manager, another guy named Mike, calls me and says, you know, hey, I'm sorry about what happened. Uh, we still do have the TVs there. Uh, well, here at store number one. And he was like, I do want to tell you what uh, what happened. And uh, the very first question he asked me was what color was the box? And the box that I saw that they brought out to me was a white box. And he was like, that's what I figured happened. What happened was the price that was scanned on the barcode was for the older model version of this TV. And the only thing that changed with the TV was the web, excuse me, the web version, the internet browser on it. The series that was on sale for $249 was web 2.0. The box they brought out, which comes in a brown box, the box they brought out was Web Series 3.0 and it's in the white box. So he was saying that they did have the 2.0 version in stock, but the girl brought out the wrong version. That was the real issue. I had already gotten one TV from the fourth store and it was all good. So I was kind of, me and Jamal were kind of going back and forth about it. Like, do we really want to get another TV or do we not like we already got one for a great like a super good price there's no point in getting another 60 inch TV I don't know why I even asked because I knew the answer before I even asked the question of course he wanted the TV for that price who wouldn't who wouldn't take another TV here we are I'm gonna show you how they work or what they do because when I tell people, like, people make jokes like, oh, I got this TV for blah, blah, blah. And in my mind, I'm thinking, or they say they got, like, Black Friday deals. I'm like, that wasn't a deal, right? That wasn't a deal, Pippin. You should have went before Black Friday. And definitely don't go with tax time. But I'm going to show you the TV. Hold on. So here is the TV that Jamal put in our room. 60 freaking inches of TV. I don't understand why anybody needs this much television in one room. But this is it. It's got Netflix on it already installed. Amazon, Hulu, Vudu. Um, what's this? Gamefly? I don't know. And uh, YouTube, of course, on there. So you can see us. But yep, yeah, that's it. It's got a lot of apps. The LG Store um has some apps in it that you can get but it doesn't have many of them like it doesn't have sports networks on sport networks on <laughs> network programs i don't believe um but it's got like uh a bunch of sharing programs camera share uh web share and other stuff like that and it's got the internet browser you can use the only downside to it is that because uh it requires the internet if you don't have internet of course you don't get it if your shows are 4k then there's no point to have a 4k tv and then you have to constantly update i shouldn't say constantly but you have to update frequently uh the apps on here so sometimes we might go to youtube or hulu or whatever and we have to update the app since we've had it since october i will say we've honestly updated apps five times at least that's crazy but yeah, that's the TV. We've got one up here in our bedroom and then the other one's downstairs in our living area. So there it is, guys. Two 60-inch Ultra HD TVs for less than 400 bucks. Like I said, I'll keep them coming if you guys are interested. If this is something you like, please like, comment, and hit that subscribe button so that we know what your interests are. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you later.